All right, all right. This video I've been waiting to do for a very long time. Um, I've had so much work. I've been distracted with a whole lot of different things related to work. I didn't want to be distracted for this video because it's a very important video. It's going to be an expanded video uh, talk about other film manufacturers in relation to Expel, etc., etc. Um, I want to tell you right off the bat, I do represent the installers of this industry because I am an installer. The manufacturer, they represent themselves. I, I do not say good reviews or bad reviews in relation because I like them or don't like them. I could care less what they do. Uh, but I do care about uh, the end uh, consumer, these, uh, these manufacturers are targeting, which is us, the installers. And I do care a lot about the installers. I've, I've had a mov movement of caring for installers for a very long time. You know, I do produce a lot of videos to help them out to better their installation technique, et cetera, et cetera. So this video is for you installers and some of the films that are being here, we'll be looking at, we have Lumar IRX, ceramic window film, about 82% 81 infrared heat block. Um, this right here, we're gonna also be looking one of the most famous because of the longevity in the market, global ceramic, the QDP. 32% uh, VLT, meaning the uh, how dark it is. I think it comes out around 77% infrared heat block, so that's good right there. Uh, we do have 3M crystalline, 40%. Uh, in the 90s, IR block, I will explain to you in a little bit what's up with that. We do have um, Winko's, 35%, very popular guy. Or at least I think he's popular or something. He's been around the market for a long time. I'll talk uh, about this guy, 95% IR block. That's very high, very nice. And then, of course, the Expel XR Plus, the one you guys have uh, been waiting for, the review, around 95% infrared heat block that I can see. Now, let's go ahead and verify the numbers before I go forward. So we have here the very first one, Lumar IRX. And let's go ahead. Uh, this right here, the reason I put them here, this is a factory matching color, 25% VLT. Factory matching meaning like any back of SUVs or Porsche, Chevrolet, Ford, same color. Uh, this is a color that uh, we struggle to go ahead and match from a lot of offering from manufacturers as far as window film. So I put them here and I'll explain to you a little bit why I put them there. Okay, 100% uh, VLT first. Go ahead and Lumar IRX. What is the VLT meaning? How dark it is? 34% on this sample that I have. This is what I use on a daily basis. UV light, none, zero going through, 34% VLT. We go to the IR block, as mentioned, 81% here. 80 on the uh, more, I guess from 70, 780 to 7. 1700 nanometer is a full spectrum which is really almost a complete spectrum 2019 there i like the fact that this uh this reading this number is really pretty much very even across the board i like that because it means that this company is representing this numbers or doing their calculations pretty good all right so we'll put him to the side check that out um the next one is going to be 3m crystalline 40 percent meaning the vot and I'll explain what this 90s IR block means right now. Okay, put it here. Put it there. I'm going to change this. Okay, there you go. We're going to know how dark it is. So it's 39%, close to 40, zero of the UV light going through. And then we change it to this. And this is what I mean. This is what I don't like about some bullshit manufacturers doing some stuff. I love a lot of the products that I use and I've used over the 3M dealer before, but that's irrelevant right now. Or at least it's relevant because I know what I use and you know I can talk about it because I have experience with it. 1% from 900 to 1000 nanometers reading is what they try and push into the marketplace, the fucking number, right? But over here from 780 to 1700 nanometers, which is the full spectrum, not just a small part of it, it's 14. It's, it's you know, it, it brings it down to like 86% infrared uh, heat block. And, you know, from 99% infrared heat block to 86, it's a big gap. Okay, big gap. So if you average this out or even perhaps try to get more of a playing field of a real number, you might drop it into the 90s. And is that extraordinary? Well, I don't know. I mean, so don't believe the 99 is that because right here, the truth meter in front of you is showing you that it's only in a very small part of the spectrum. 
which I, I don't like those, you know, these fucking statistics that are kind of like mm, meant to dissuade us. And so to me, that right there is fucking blows off, right? Anyway, so let's put them to the side. Um, three and Kristen and 40%. We go here to one of the most famous products in the market because it's been around in the market for a good while. Global, global QDP Ceramic, 32% VLP. Let's change the sky. 32 meaning the light, it's light film. You see what it does. So 33% VLT, 0% of the UV light going through. It's doing its job there. So, so 31 meaning like what? 70, 79? Yeah. No. What the inverse of 31? 69? Uh, 79, 80, shit. Don't tell me it's only 69. 69 IR block is what I'm looking at here. 69 and 1 is 70 plus 30. Yeah, 69 IR block in the infrared spectrum 900 to 1000 and it's almost similar to the other one. Here, the from 780 to 1700 nanometers. So that's, that's the, you know, this is the least performing film as far as heat block in the infrared uh, range. I know that people talk about teaser and all that, but uh, all right, I have something else to say about teaser, but anyway, there are your numbers. 33, 0, 33 visible light, 0 UV. And this right here, 69 IR block. I think I said it was 77%, but it's not around 69 IR block. So it is there. Let's, say, let's call it 70, okay? We'll be more comfortable with that. So that's this one. Put them to the side. Winkles 35, 95% IR block. Muscle Menos, I kind of read it before, and I'll read it again in front of you guys. Let's do this, get it out of the way. There you go, it's a 36% uh, visible light transmission film, so it is around 35%, as they said. All right, uh, around 93, 93% IR block and 90, 93 and 91. I like the fact that, again, the reading, uh, this, uh, I think it's Lintec from Japan. I love that the way uh, they actually made this reading, which is, very close and very pretty much uh, even across the spectrum as you can see there's almost no difference between seven and nine 93 hour block so that's great 36 percent VOT film Get this guy out of the way the last one is expel xr plus and i believe this is a 30 percent uh vlt i didn't write it down but i'm going to put them up here in front of the truth meter expel xr plus there you go Okay, 31%, it's reading right now, VLT, and infrared, as I mentioned, 95 to about 93, is that correct? Yeah, 95, 93. So, um, the, again, I love the readings, you know, they're very, very accurate for us installers to see that, you know, whatever you see in the 900, 2000 range, it's also the same thing, 780, 1700. So I like that they're very consistent. So they have produced actually a very, very, very good window film, as you can see here. Let me put this guy to the side, turn him off for a second. And let me discuss now what I really wanted to discuss about window films. Okay, so we know that Expel came up with a very, very good product. And I've been chattering and asking for a film that has on the north side of 90 VLT that doesn't cost uh, IR block, I'm sorry. On, uh, on the north of 90% IR block that doesn't cost an arm and a leg, installer friendly, um, good colors, and you know, that kind of stuff that us installers want to do. But manufacturers, you know, they have their target audiences, their, their customers also that they want to sell films to, okay? So this guy right here is doing a wonderful job. I'm going to talk about these older guys, okay? I don't have a beef on him or nothing, but... I'm going to go ahead and see if, uh, if you kind of remember what's going on with this. This is 3 and Crystalline, okay? Now, the the uh, costing of this film is way up there. And I think a friend of mine uh, said it correctly, that if you set the price so high that only a very few select people will have access to buying this product. So, does the strategy work for a manufacturer? I don't know. But if I would be the owner of 3 and Crystalline and only sold to 10 shops, in the nation and they would install very little because it's the same thing. I mean, if you have a, a product that is $700,000 per car or whatever they want to sell it at per car, you're not going to have a whole lot of customers. Look, 
I know that if you live in California, LA, Beverly Hills, but that doesn't sell a whole lot of roll. Beverly Hills is like this small compared to the whole nation, right? So Stravig is a manufacturer. They wanted to do it. This film sucks for shrinking. The VLTs always sucked. To me, they always suck because 40% is nowhere near a 30, 35 of Sunbelt region states the most amount of window film installed. I know California is an exception. Those guys are crazy over there, but they have 80% VLT for front doors, which is really nothing. You can't install nothing on front doors. But how about everybody else from Florida, New Mexico, Arizona, all the Sunbelt states, they want to install some window film, right? And they have their VLTs, laws, and whatever, lying us anywhere from 20%, 25, 30, 35. And this guy's come producing something at 40, and the other ones are lighter than this. So I don't know if this thing, I mean, Crystal is a car automotive window film. And the reason they suck is because they never produced anything worth for other consumers, most of the consumers actually. And I guess they were uh, targeting uh, the high end, they wanted to light film, whatever. But I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. They saw a lot of it, but I was a dealer of this product. It sucks for heat shrinking. The color is matte, and the lightness blows. I mean, this VLT totally blows. Oh, but one of the great things that I like that they kind of did is that the reason I have this little square, now I'm going to talk about it. You see how actually this and this are a little bit on the matching side? So if you're going to sell crystalline to dealers that have, or cars that have or trying to upsell, to cars that have already all the back part tinted and such, well, you're gonna have to kind of get a product that kind of muscle metal matches. The customer won't give you a lot of why is they not matching the back, right? So they did an okay job. It's just that the VLT is a little bit light for my for my taste and for a lot of my consumers, because I did try and push this, and they always said I wanted a darker legal and I wanted a darker legal, you know, and they're they're willing to pay a lot of money, but. So I couldn't sell a whole lot of this, so eventually I did, you know, for the hardship of the of the uh, shrinking, which blows, and then the VLTs, which, you know, pretty much suck. You know, I never really, I just dropped the line and moved along to what my consumers were asking for. So as far as the color here, it's good. So let me put this out of the way. This guy even has a worse story than uh, 3M Crystalline as far as for me, for me, just my perspective, okay? So this guy right here, they produce rows that are 42 or 44 inches, something like that, which totally is stupid, beyond stupid. So let's say the people from Lintec, you know, wherever country, I don't want to mention any weird names or nothing, but where they're coming from, uh, I guess they want to appeal to their culture and their likings. And I guess the American culture and the American uh, customer was never really on their mind as a customer because look, they sold us rolled in 66 linear length. That really blew. I was a Winko's dealer and installed it for a good while till I realized a bunch of things. First of all, the size really sucked. I was doing back windows that were like 34, 32, whatever inches, and I was throwing the rest. I, I couldn't do nothing. I mean, I don't want to do vents. You know, I don't want, I can't do windshield strips and light film. So I was throwing a lot of that film away. So in that respect, these people, the, the reason these guys don't have a lot of market share. The, the reason these guys don't have a lot of market share and the reason they're just totally disliked by a lot of people is because they never produced anything for the installer. This game about film is about the installer, okay? The end consumer plays, of course, a role, but look, let's check it out. Did you produce something that matches the factory colors? Hell no, not even close. Look at that, this is blue something and this is your natural car color and such. Unless somebody's gonna install like a sedan, clear windows, then yeah, they have light, they have medium, and then going to the other thing that I think blows about them, a 10%. I installed a lot of 10%, and you know what customers told me, Mike? That's not dark enough. I asked for limo, like, fuck, man. Well, that is as dark as they want. Well, you know what? I don't want that. I take it off and give me something that is limo. So again, all these numbers of high R block, they were secondary in their minds, you know? So the customers are very hard to appease. They surely are, okay? Been doing it for a long time, and this I got rid of because the sizes are stupid, the length are stupid, and then the 10% thing, and that's why Winkles right now, I think barely, somebody told me, somebody posted, a very good friend of mine, I won't mention his name, that they redeveloped the film, made it there. But look, man, it's been decades. It's been, I don't know how long you guys have this market. If you're going to take a decade to listen to a consumer, which is us, the installer, you blow. You're really not in this game. And the reason you're not in this game is because you don't listen to us, the consumers, which are the installers. Okay, so this guy, 
No good on the matchy, very good on the numbers, but those stupid uh, odd sizes, 42 and 66 linear, not a winner. And I, I'm not saying they're not a winner because that's my opinion. You look at the marketplace, they really uh, they really own nothing of the marketplace. If you go to the most sold films or the most popular, this guy's not even, not even there. Okay, so we're going back to uh, some of the, the last ones, some of the older guys in the, in the, uh, in the market. Global QDP ceramic, great for infrared heat block. Yes, it's the least of uh, the infrared block from all this bunch. But at the same time, they've done their, their good homework because a lot of people that install this love the fact that this price structure, uh, the way they price Global QDP ceramic is really good for our installer pocketbooks, okay? Because uh, it sells for about, what is it? 600 or 650 or you know 600 ish a 60 inch roll while uh the uh crystalline uh, uh sell for about what is it 2400 dollars a roll or 1800 or 2000 fucking ridiculous and the wrong colors and then um i think this one winco's uh is a little bit more expensive probably 100 200 dollars more than than this guy right here and then of course the wrong color is really blowing that's 10 percent really killed them so this guy right here is a force to reckon with because they have colors that are mm, muscle mantles, you know, a little bit too brown for my liking, but it's better than that blue here, right? So this guy right here, although it does have a little bit less IR block, um, I guess they put less of a tungsten or whatever it is, uh, the uh, ceramic component and put more dye coloration in here. To make it look more like factory color but what i'm going to ask from the global people not the distributors but the actual people that manufacture it from india or wherever they're from that this brown right here is kind of like meh if you make it closer to this color which is a factory matching i won't have people tell me mike your uh, film looks a little bit too brown and that's what i've been getting from my customers they tell me why it looks a little bit too brown and the back looks more black and i don't have an answer i all i want to tell is that great film very good numbers on the IR block, very good on the pocketbook. That's why it's one of the biggest or is the biggest selling film right now. But the matchy on the factory color, mm, muscle minerals, good, better than most. Okay, better than most. Put them to the side. Second to the last, Lumar IRX. It does have about 82% IR block. The price structure in this Lumar IRX, one of the things uh, that I, I'm sorry I didn't discuss. Uh, to buy the tritium crystalline, it's pretty much uh, it's a no-no. Uh, you got to be a dealer, and you got to pay them for their suits and their crocodile shoes and their jet uh, sprees that they have and all that kind of stuff to be a dealer. So it's a no-no. Uh, Winkles, uh, anybody can buy it. You know, if you're a medical dealer, which is you know uh, they're they're pretty lenient on their things. A lot of people can buy it, and the uh, the uh, global QDP uh, almost the same. They're very lenient on who they choose for. I mean, if, you, if you're tinting uh, uh, perhaps uh, from your garage and you don't have nobody around you in your area, they, they'll probably sell to you because they're in the business to make money. They're not, you know, it's nothing bad to tint out of a garage. No, not at all. It's one of the decisions people have to do, like doing mobile work. That's part of doing mobile work. Uh, do it at their garage or somewhere else or your garage. That's kind of the mobile work. Uh, but uh, if you have like three people in town within five miles and these guys will tell you, well, uh, I want to see who's the highest volume and you know, that kind of typical game that goes along with, and you guys have to understand that that's just, that's just normal. You don't want to whore out the product and give it to, a, to everybody, right? So these guys, uh, very similar restrictions to the medical guys. Lumar, they're a little bit more strict. They're very strict, actually. You do have to be a Lumar dealer to do the IRX. Their other higher end line, the reason I don't have it here is because to be a Formula One dealer, you do have to pay in money and very protective territory. Same thing with the 3M uh, thing, you know, you do have to pay for their jet rides and their alligator shoes and their nice pants and whatever. And of course, they do put a lot of money, a lot of money, a lot of money. IWFA, they do post, uh, put a lot of money there uh, for our benefit, of course, and uh, Tintal, they sponsor and pay for most of it for our benefit for the installer. So uh, that's one of the reasons I love the product because they do help out the industry a lot in that respect. But the Lumar does have its downfalls and I'll talk about it uh, right now. Uh, so uh, 
so I don't I don't have stratos to do here, but I I've, I've seen the stratos. It does have ninety ish numbers, kind of like the uh, crystalline and the uh, winco. So that's very very good. The structure, I believe, the costing of uh, of the stratos, which I don't have here because I'm not a stratos or Formula One dealer. Uh, my nephew is. Um, I, I didn't. I didn't want to get a sample. It's, you know, they also don't sell a whole lot. From there's not a whole lot of Formula One dealers. I want to talk about some of the bigger players in the market that have you know a lot of good market share. And Lumar dealers are a bunch of them. Very few uh, Formula One dealers. So this guy, what I truly love about this guy, is that uh, the reason I use him on a daily basis is if you see. Factory matching, it is 30% or 33% it was. So it's cool. I wish it had been closer to 29, uh, 30%, but that's cool. So, but look at the, the factory matching. It's very, very close. As a matter of fact, from all these samples that I have, this is the closest factory match with a very high IR block and a very high teaser. So I love this. And of course, the support that they have, Lumar pretty much owns the whole world, right? Uh, I love uh, their infrastructure, how they help dealers out, et cetera, et cetera. And at the same time, I know other people have talked about, you know, the them going into the car dealerships and doing programs and whatever. Well, I've had my discussions about that. Since I do not go for the dealers, it's really my fault. So I shouldn't be complaining. If they're the dealers, it's because they want to. They have the time. They have the film. They have the experience to be there. And, and obviously, I didn't. Some people don't want to go for the dealers. So that's their deal, right? Very nice factory matching. I love that. Let's go back to the real reason we're here. Expel XR Plus 95-ish IR block. <sighs> this product, uh, uh, one of the reasons I took such a long time to do this review is because I was waiting for the other shoe to fall. I want you to understand that I believe that I know that Expel is a Garware product and some other people, uh, perhaps uh, Solar FX, perhaps uh, uh, Global itself, um, express window films and a lot of Garware babies uh, they're all Garware products so I know for a fact these wind films unless my information is incorrect then somebody please tell me with real factual statements that I'm incorrect but I think these are um, Garware products and the great thing about that is like some people that go into the forum and say well expel they've been in the game for like fucking two weeks and what do they know about wind film let me tell you what Expel knows about window film. Expel knows for a fact window film better than we do because they went with Garware. Uh, you know, if you don't go to Lumar or the people SKB or SKC or wherever they get their goodies from, if you don't go to any of these two guys, these two guys' sources to get your film, then you're really gambling on what, what you're getting because Garware products are some of the most uh, tested, true long-lasting, high-quality products in the market. So Expel does know their film because they don't produce any of their film, but they did go to the right guys to have it produced, and that's why they're a winner. Um, the thing that I do not like about this sample, um, uh, yes, the heat shrinking, the installation, the hard coat is, you already know, second to none. Everything, the attributes of this product is very, very good. It's priced a little bit higher than Lumar IRX, and maybe it should. You can see the differences in the factory matching. This does not match it at all. It's too blue. So this is one of the downfalls of what I don't like about this product. But at the same time, Winkos has the same problem. I guess that tungsten, you know, getting the numbers to the north of 90 IR block. We're asking for a lot of IR block. But at the same time, you know, we don't like the color. So this is the drawback of this product that when I install this, if I install this on my customer's car, they're going to be like, your film is too blue for my factory. You said it was factory matching. And that's, that's a scenario of why I have dropped some film lines because I have too much static, too much BS from my customers of why it doesn't match. And I don't have a good answer. I mean, so definitely I want the highest heat block, IR block film, so I can compare it to other good brands, but at the same time, I don't want the problem of having a, a product that doesn't match factory color, which is here. Like, I could have used Dre. Dre is a much higher heat block than this product, but it's green and its exterior reflectivity is in 11 or 12, which is horrible. It's really high up there, so that's why I don't use that product. So this right here, I'm going to tell you all the new guys that are coming into the market. And the reason Expel is such a great company because they chose to actually partner with Garware. I truly believe that. If I'm incorrect, 
then I apologize for that and I will erase the video as soon as somebody proves me wrong. And I apologize for, to, to everybody for saying incorrect information, but I believe this is a Garwood product. So they've chosen a very, very, very good, good company to represent them, Expel, right? The only thing that uh, that I would go back to the drawing board, perhaps get these numbers now, I guess I've got to go down to the 90 <laughs> and get a more brown or a more factory color like this, kind of like that. And this to me is a little bit, remember that I told you it's a little bit too brown. You can see them kind of there side to side. Muscle Manos, it's almost here there, but this is the best color match. This is a little bit too uh, New Mexico brown for me. Uh, they're medium and they're dark. They're very good, but we installed because the factory has all the SUVs from Mercedes to Audi You name it. They already have the back Tinted with this color. We have no choice But to just do their fronts now because they say well the backs are already tinted and I guess they want to save money, right? So we go back to the drawing board of we got to get a product that kind of matches this so all this stuff right here They have their goods pros and cons but to me expel did build a product worthy of a very great review. I would give it 4.5 out of 5 stars. The half star is only taken away because it doesn't match the color. And in your region, if you have customers that trust you and they love you, they probably will just say, you know what, I don't care about the blue color. If you say that it's the highest heat block and it's the best in the market and it's Scarware and it's Expel and everything, I'm all for it. So my opinions will not matter here, but my experience does matter here. And this is my experience with all these products that I've used in the marketplace. Uh, Expel, you've done a great job uh, doing a review so that people are aware of all these newbies that have all these questions of, hey, Mike, what do you think of this film? What do you think of that film? Well, I'm, I'm just going to tell you, go to the YouTube channel because I hate explaining my things over and over again. So you can see right here. The vast majority of products, and this is the difficulty of arriving to a product line that has the perfect VLT, the perfect IR block, the perfect color, shrinkability, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, that's uh, that's the review here. These are all the colors. Guys, I want to thank you for, uh, for joining. I'm going to go ahead and get something for you. Hold on. This right here is a box of goodies that Expel sent me along with the samples. It was sent out in September 19, September 19 of, uh, of this year. So it's been many months that I haven't done this review, but like I said, I was busy. I'm going to go ahead and forward the box to the first person that says dirty is my daddy on in on, on, on the inbox on, on, on the comments. The first one that says dirty is my daddy. I'll send him this and a bunch of stuff. $100, $200 of stuff from my stuff, either from door guards or pouches with your embroidery or whatever you want. I'll do it on my end and I'll send this Expel thing. Uh, it says here what it is, some mugs and promotional product and all that. Great stuff from Expel, but I already have a mug that they gave me like maybe a year or two ago when, when uh, I was using their uh, their uh, PPF film. So I'm going to forward it to you guys. I haven't opened it. It's going to be yours for the taking. And of course, dirty is your daddy. It would be the thing. First one says it. Guys, have a great day and thank you for joining.